welcome to Pastor's Corner. It's a great privilege to come to you wherever you are in this Advent season where we are desperately in, 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 in thinking, in reflection, in prayer, looking and remembering the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, His work that He came to do on this earth. I pray that you will take this season seriously. It's been my prayer that we will all begin to really meditate and think of the good that the moment good came into this earth to dwell with us, the Son of God, the light of this world, coming onto earth and dying for us. It's amazing, brother and sister. I hope you don't take this season for granted. You don't allow yourself to be caught in the non-essential, the non-essential behavior of this season. It is not about the gifts and the wrapping of gifts and what you will get and the food you will eat and, you know, all the busyness of this season without really paying attention to what it's all about. It's about Jesus loving us and coming to die for us. And why is it so important? If he had not come, we would not have had the opportunity to relate with God through the Holy Spirit. Now God is present with us. Emmanuel, God with us. God has come and dwelled in our midst. And by his Holy Spirit, we can really begin to live the life that he's called us to live. I want to read for you in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. While we still we are still on the study on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, yeah, it says to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. We will come to some of them. We've done uh, we've done the working of miracles. To another we've done now we are going to do prophecy it's important that you and I pay attention to the to this gift of prophecy because we live in a, a, a day and age where what God is saying is important but what is prophecy I like the way David Guza puts it it's he says the telling the, the telling forth of God's message in a particular situation always in accord with his word and his current work what god is saying must be in order with his work and his current work and the word that is written that which is written and what god is currently doing but what is prophecy? The, first, the foretelling of what God is saying about a situation. The foretelling of what is to come. The foretelling of what is about to happen. And an and instance here is um, Prophet Agabus coming to um, the people of God and prophesying that the Apostle Paul was going to be given into the hands of the enemies um, the, the Jews were going to give the uh, Apostle Paul to the Romans to kill him. And that was that, that's referenced in Acts 21 verses um, 10 to 11. You can reference it for yourself. That's an example of a man of God, the, the prophet Agabus, coming to foretell what's going to happen. And we need this gift in our modern day especially while we are still coming through a pandemic and there is a lot of turmoil in our world. There are situations of illnesses and diseases and viruses. We, we don't know what's happening. Scientists are doing what they would do. And I, I really commend every medical expert that is doing their work. I commend every politician that is doing their work with faithfulness. So I don't undermine their work. The Holy Spirit also has work that he does in the life of every believer. And some believer, these gifts work in such a way that you could be able to know what is about to happen. God would say, would speak to you through a dream, an open vision, or audible saying, or he would just drop it in your spirit, what is about to happen. And the Holy Spirit works with us that way so that 
we would know in time and in season what God is saying about a particular situation according to his word and what he is already doing. I pray you pay attention to this because we need this. Why do we need it? We live in days where we need encouragement from God's word. I would, I would prefer you come and tell me this is what God is saying or I have heard or I have seen the scripture saying than coming to sing songs and coming to rub my back and coming to pet me. I don't need that. I want to know what God is saying about my life. That would be much more encouraging for me. So begin to pray. Allow yourself relate with the Holy Spirit. Let him prepare you. Let him work in you and use you for a purpose like this. It is, it is a gift you can look up to heaven. Yeah? Ask, it shall be given. And if it, if it, and he gives it as he wills. So it's not something you have to force. If God has not shown you anything, don't go and say, God has shown you. If you are not sure, wait on, until you are clear about what God is saying. And most of the cases, like, I, like we have just read, it goes in alignment with God's word. So don't come and say, God says, if what you are saying is not supported by God's word, or it's not in line with God's word, that really comes in the area of discerning between spirits, which we will touch on next week. But for today, pay attention to the gift of prophecy. Yeah? God bless you. I pray you pay attention to your relationship with Jesus. You will love Jesus. You will humble yourself and seek God while he may be found. And pay attention. Pay attention. We are in a very delicate season. Christmas is coming. Don't be caught up in all the going arounds without paying attention and quieting yourself, your spirit, to hear what the Father is saying. May peace be your portion in this season. May the light of this world, Jesus Christ, begin to illuminate your world and your life in Jesus' name. Have a blessed week.